my god, is this not the most beautiful Sunday you have ever seen? Beautiful. Oh god, if this day was a woman, she'd have to beat the other days off with a stick. <laughs> Especially Wednesday hump day, get it? Got it. Mm. It's days like this that make me wish I was a bike messenger. <laughs> Can we ready to go soon? In a minute. Okay. I thought we could go down to Fisherman's Wharf and get some lunch, and then go down to Farmer's Market and get ourselves a couple of nice, fresh farmers. <laughs> sure, honey. You know you can tell if they're fresh or not? They squeeze you. Get it? <laughs> Sounds like fun. You're not listening, are you? Well, just let me finish the crossword puzzle. Okay. Sorry. Come on, it's gonna be dark soon. It's 10.30 in the morning. 10.35. Is it unreasonable for me to want to do the crossword puzzle on Sunday morning? No, of course not. Just let me know when you're ready. I will. Z-E-P-H-Y-R, westerly wind, Zephyr. <laughs> eyes open. Aye. If anyone notices a five-letter edible fruit of the Myrtle family, jot it down. I can't believe that he's indoors doing the crossword puzzle on a day like this. I know. I tried pushing the couch out with him still on it, but he caught on. You remember how well that worked with your father? Really? Once. <laughs> Did you figure out what you're gonna get Greg for his birthday? No, not yet. I could buy him a friend to sit on the couch with him. <laughs> you sleep with him, you're throwing him a surprise party. If you ask me, you got a little change coming. He is so hard to buy for. You know, he never did use those tap dancing lessons I got him last year. Oh, you're kidding. Mm -mm. The hat and cane are just gathering dust. <laughs> I hope you made sure my ex-husband isn't bringing a date to Greg's party. Yes, I talked to Pete. He gave his word. Good. Do you think he'd be upset if I brought that guy? <laughs> yes. A plan begins to form. Excuse me, are you the guy who makes up the crossword puzzles? The answers will be published on Sunday. Yeah, I know. That's not why I'm here. Um, see, my husband's birthday is coming up, and I'm kind of stuck for a gift, and I thought maybe you could help me out. Try one of those coffee makers that grinds the beans. Yes, those are great, but um, he's a big crossword puzzle fan. Say no more. What's his name? Greg. <laughs> well, he's gonna love this. Especially the way you crossed best and wishes. <laughs> Glad I could help. Thanks for stopping by. Actually, there's one more thing. Okay, what's your name? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's all right. What's your name? Dharma. <laughs> Actually, there's an H in there. D-H-A. Ah, oh, damn, I shouldn't have used that. Actually, the reason I'm here is I was hoping you could work the phrase Happy Birthday, Greg, Love, Dharma, into next week's crossword puzzle. Oh, I have a very strict policy on personal messages. Any chance it's glad to do them? Look, if I do Happy Birthday for you, next week it's Happy Bar Mitzvah, Stuart. Sorry about your loss, Earl. Chevy Lumina for sale. Low mileage. <laughs> Look, my husband is a really hard guy to buy for. I mean, he already has a drawer full of coupon books for treats in bed, which is partly my fault, because in the moment, I tend to forget to collect the coupon. <laughs> Look, I, I thought, wouldn't it be great if next Sunday, which is his birthday, he's doing the crossword puzzle, which he loves, and there... 
38 across. Dharma loves Greg. Oh, my. Thank you, Dharma. Don't thank me, Greg. Thank the most wonderful man in the world. <laughs> and your hero, Theodore Harrison. I'm sorry, there's no way I can do this. How about for 100 bucks? Done. <laughs> Great. If I had struck out with you, he was going to get a beer stein and a cockatoo that said there's a fungus among us. <laughs> yeah, these are great, Kitty. But don't you have any cute baby pictures of Greg where he has, like, a bowl of spaghetti on his head or naked in the bathtub? Why would I have that? Everybody has cute bathtub pictures. I mean, I got some doozies of Greg in the shower, but I don't think he wants me blowing him up for the party. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Dama. This is, this is all I have. Okay. All right, so I'll just take Craig opening his first checking account. <laughs> sitting on Barry Goldwater's lap. And the collage of blue blazers throughout the years. Oh, hello, Dharma. Hi, Ed. Hey. Kitty, I have a fella here uh, detailing my car. I told him to do yours, too. Oh, well, thank you, dear. Glad to do it. Uh, can I freshen your drink? Oh, you're a doll. <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys fighting about? <laughs> Why on earth would you think we're fighting? Did you hear that, Edward? Dharma thinks we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> oh, come on. I've known you guys for three years. The last time you pretended to be that nice to Edward was after he walked through your book club in his underwear. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. I had a slipped disc. She knows I was hopped up on pain pills. Yes, and were you hopped up this morning when you gave your ex-wife $10,000? It was a loan! It was asinine! Oh, he wants to help the old gray mayor start a little business. <laughs> At least she's doing something productive with my money instead of buying old furniture that no one can sit on. Your money? Oh, why don't we get the lawyers in here and find out whose money it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thanks for everything, guys. I'll see you Sunday. What's wrong with helping a person out? Oh, wake up, Edward. This is not a person. This is a shrill, peroxided harpy. Well, it must be my weakness. Oh, keep on talking. Everybody's sitting on new furniture sooner than you think. Hey, buddy, no armor all on that white car. So you got big plans for the big birthday weekend? Not really. I was just going to take me out to dinner at the club. A quiet dinner at the country club, just the two of you. That's sweet. Hey, uh, listen, uh, this isn't the type of office where we buy each other birthday presents, is it? Don't worry about it, Pete. Oh, good. So no gifts for the birthday, boy. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at that. We've got a client. Right this way, miss. Uh, this is my law partner, Greg. I hope you can help me. You see, I bought this, and it doesn't work, so I want to sue the store. Let me show you. Gee, it's working. <laughs> it's working for me. Um, um, uh, thank, thank you very much, Pete, but um, <laughs> this is really special, but we have actual clients coming any minute, so... Oh, we, we got bigger problems than that, Greg. Officer, well, what seems to be the trouble? Hold it right there, miss. You're not a real law client. I'm going to have to arrest you. <laughs> How great is this? Yeah. Terrific. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, please. Come on, at least let her slap the handcuffs on. Thank you very much, ladies. We're going to have to take a rain check. Right, come on, girls. Just hang out out here for a minute. Uh, have a soda. I'll talk to them. <laughs> What birthday you got coming up, man? The big 7 old? This may come as a surprise to you, but I'm not really into strippers at 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, well. We'll have a couple drinks, and then... <laughs> we'll bring them back in. We got 45 minutes. We have work to do. So do they. Thank you for the birthday present. I really appreciate the sentiment. Forget the sentiment. They frisk each other. I'm sure they do. All right, Grandpa. I'm going to talk to the girls. I'll be back like 41 minutes. <laughs> hey, uh, you got any singles? I'm going to need some tucking in money. Hello? In the kitchen? Hey. Wow. Is that Greg? Yeah. But he turned out fine. <laughs> Honey, we need to talk to you about something. Shoot. Your father and I have given this a lot of thought, and as long as you're having Greg's birthday party at that country club, we cannot attend. So here's his present. 
What? I thought you were over your problem with the oppressive elitism inherent in the private watering holes of the uber class. We are, but it has come to our attention that the fat cats at that country club are committing environmental genocide. And why? So they can build themselves another fat cat driving range. It's a sweater. What exactly are the fat cats doing? Abby? They're relocating wild bees. Yeah, and squirrels and birds and chipmunks and rabbits. No, a a actually, Larry, it's just bees. Just bees? Nothing furry? No. I'm sorry, Derma. If you want us to come, you'll have to find some other place to have the party. It's tomorrow, Abby. Oh, wait a minute. We're giving up a free buffet for some lousy bees? You know, they're giving up their homes, Larry. Oh, so what? I'll be there. No! You will not! Oh, come on. I was with you on fur. I was with you on the owls. I was with you on that creepy little fish with the underbite. But I gotta draw the line on bees. You know, I think maybe we should discuss this at home, Larry, after you've read the literature. I'll see you tomorrow. You will not. You could have told me it was just bees. I told you three times, Larry. That's your answer for everything, isn't it? Bye. Morning. Happy birthday, old timer. Thank you. Here's your muffin, and your coffee, and your pencil, and your crossword puzzle. Thank you. Looks like a good one this week. You know what? I've been thinking. We should get out and do more stuff on the weekends. No, no. It's Sunday. It's your birthday. Do your crossword puzzle. No, I can do that anytime. Come on, we'll go rollerblading. No, roller boring. <laughs> hey, check this out. Six letters, a smug cat's snack, or a coal mine fatality. What in the heck could that be? Canary. You write it down. Nope, we're going to go out and enjoy the day. <laughs> oh, four-letter word for crap. <laughs> Come on, huh? Let's do the crossword puzzle. He doesn't. I'm okay. I'm sorry I ruined our rollerblading. No, I feel bad. You didn't even get your skates on. Well, you know what they say? Most skating accidents happen when you're pulling your socks on too fast. Sit down. I'll get you no, some no, ice. No, 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 no. I'll get it. It's your birthday. You sit down. You relax. Do whatever you want. Here's your crossword puzzle. Thanks. Gonna watch some football. Instead of your crossword puzzle? I guess I can do both at the same time. I should hope so, a man of your education. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You just enjoy your crossword puzzle. Hello? Hi, Pumpkin. Hey, Lair. What's up? Did you talk to Abby? Yes, I did. And I think we're all on the same page here. That's great! So she's coming. No, not that page. As it turns out, I was wrong about the bees, and I can't come either. Larry, don't do this to me. Hang on. Hello? Dharma, I'm in love. Great, Jane. I'm very happy for you. I got a problem with my parents. Can I call you back? Sure, I just wanted you to know I have to bring him to Greg's party. Hang on. Hey, Lair, I'm back. Who's this? Darn. Hey, I was just gonna call you. You did, Larry. You guys have to come. Well, that's gonna be tough because we're not coming. I gotta go. Jane? It's been a long time since I had a good orange. Jane? See, I just got divorced. Are you there, Jane? You can't bring a date. You and Pete agreed. No dates. Hang on. Hello? Dama, Edward, and I regret we will be unable to attend Gregory's party. No, no regretting. You have to not regret that. Everything all right? Everything's fine, honey. Everything's fine. Hunky dory. I'm sorry. Dama? Hang on, kitty. Hang on, Jane. <laughs> honey, you forgot your crossword puzzle. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do it. It's kind of hard this week. Kind of hard? What kind of talk is that? I'm just not into it. What, do you need an easier one? How about the ones in the TV guide? 
Ah, two letters. Duke's blank hazard. Is that easy enough? Why are you being so mean to me? Because I hate to see you give up like this. Jane, Jane, you can't bring a date. Jane? 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 Kitty? I'm sorry. We will meet you for a drink before or after, but we will not set foot in that country club. Why? Does this have anything to do with bees? Bees? Hang on. Hello? Ma'am, let me just start by saying this is not a sales call. I'm not selling anything. Listen, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. What would you say if I told you that you could save $20 a month on canned goods? I don't know what I would say. Can you hang on? Ooh, hello, Kitty. It's your country club. Yes. And Edward got his ex-wife the catering contract for the whole damn place. You want the money paid back? The woman has to get some work. Well, why doesn't she go back to her old line of work? Or is the fleet not in? <laughs> it's completely uncalled for. And what are you implying? Kitty, I'm coming over. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take a beating on my canned goods. I'm up to my ass and bees and ex-wives. <laughs> What? I got some errands to run. I'll be back in a little while. I want that puzzle done by the time I get back. Happy birthday, sweetie. <laughs> you know, you are so smart the way you figure all this out. Sudsy Street Pulpit. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Neither do I. That's because you're not trying. Now get to it. Sudsy Street Pulpit, go. <laughs> Drank a little better? No, but I'm not going to baby it. Hi, darling. What are you doing here? I thought I'd drag the birthday boy out for a round of golf. Well, I'm sorry. He can't play golf. He's doing his crossword puzzle. Come on. It's a beautiful day. How, how many Sundays do we get like this? Yeah, sun's out. Big deal. Get a life. Listen, Jane is bringing a date to the party tonight. Wait a minute. We, we agreed no dates. Yeah, cry me a river. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> I can't show up alone. Then get yourself a date! <laughs> Tonight? <laughs> Forget it, I just won't go. Okay, I swear, if one more person tells me they are not going to this party tonight, I will reach into their chest and pull out their beating heart. Now just get a date! <laughs> oh, come on! It is your only son's birthday. How can you not be there? Dama, if you don't think this pains me, you're wrong. But as long as that woman is, is catering this affair, I cannot attend. But Kitty! I am sorry! I'm a very sensitive person. I have feelings, too. I know you do. Well, you're a kind and gentle soul. But did you ever consider the fact that Edward's ex-wife will be running around in an apron waiting on you? You didn't, did you? It would be somewhat humiliating for her. Cocktails at seven, dinners at eight. <laughs> Dharma, shame on you. <laughs> and by not being there, the country club wins. They don't know you're home protesting. They just get to go on killing bees till the cows come home, and then they'll go after the cows. You know, you're right. I have to be there and make a statement. Right. Yeah, somebody's got to speak for the bees. Sure. But no signs, no marching, and no throwing honey on people. Don't worry, honey. I won't disrupt Greg's birthday. But if I got a chance to get up on my little soapbox... Soapbox! What? Sudsy Street Pulpit Soapbox. I gotta go. Norma, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm not really in the mood for a big dinner. Well, lighten up with your birthday. Well, without pointing fingers, it hasn't been very fun. I know. I'm sorry. But this is gonna make everything all right. We'll have a nice romantic dinner, some wine, and I even thought you might be able to finish this. Why did you bring the crossword puzzle? Because you're almost done. See, Soapbox gives you Xanadu and Ombudsman. Dharma, I don't give a damn about the puzzle. I want to go home. Well, you can't. Why not? Because of this. <laughs> Yeah, and it wasn't easy. I also got this for you, too, see? Ah, you fill this in here. And that there. There, now read it. 89 across. 
Charma loves grip. Not Charma. Dharma loves grip. You did this for me. What a great present. Yeah. Well, next year you're getting a tie. Why is it grip? 76 down. It's hog-tied, not hobbled. Oh, look at that. I love you, Charma. I love you, Grip. Can we go home now? You know we can't. Come on, we'll just go in there and give him a chance to yell surprise. I don't think this is appropriate. I did it appropriately. Check out the bees mask. I'll feed you. Just give him a minute. You. 